Amendment. I call the member for Maitland. Thank you, Mr. Temporary Speaker. This week is Library and Information Week, and uh, I would like to take a moment to reflect on a May, which I nearly would say has been a month of libraries and information. Firstly, we had the 50th anniversary of the Maitland Library uh, in the central business district of our town, and I was very impressed to meet the new state librarian, John, Mr. Dr. John Valance, uh, at the ceremony that was held by Maitland City Council with our chief librarian, Carol. Collard. It was interesting to hear about the history of that building, which is actually uh, built or was designed by the same architects who designed the National Library of Australia. So for me, as a person who grew up in Canberra and was born there, it was nice to feel that uh, my hometown has this nice link around books with the, uh, the city in which I live today. Uh, I was also very excited earlier this week to host the Jean Arnott Luncheon uh, in this place. Uh, the Jean Arnott Luncheon is uh, in its 27th this year this year and it celebrates the work of one of our great librarians, Jean Arnott, who for most of her career, in fact probably all of her career, uh, struggled for equal pay for librarians and for um, to have some equity in her workplace and it actually awards a fellowship of some $1,000 to uh, a fellow uh, for writing an essay around uh, any aspect of librarianship, a uh, 5,000 word essay. So that was uh, awarded this week and that was really great to see. Uh, on a local level in Maitland, lib libraries in Maitland are just booming. We have some very, very popular programs such as Look Who's Talking, where Carol and her team have taken it upon themselves to invite an enormous range of speakers to our city to speak, uh, who are, many of whom are authors or thought leaders to uh, develop our literary uh, richness and abundance in our town. Uh, some of the recent speakers we've had to those kind of events, Tracy Spicer AM, we've had uh, former Premier Bob Carr, we've had uh, esteemed journalist Kerry O'Brien, former uh, leader of the Democrats and then member of the ALP, Cheryl Curno. So it's been such a diverse group. And in fact, during the uh, Sydney Writers' Festival, the library uh, used the town hall facilities to live stream some of that into Maitland. So for those people for who it's too hard to get down to Sydney for those kind of events, the library has been about really making that an important part of our community. They take uh, very great pride in their storytelling competitions, they have poetry in the cafe, um, they have a lot of partnerships with the university, encouraging children to learn to write. Uh, and, of course, libraries aren't just about books anymore. Visitation is up because it's about accessing things like magazines, like DVDs, uh, movies and now audiobooks. And they also run a lot of programs such as morning teas um, in languages other than English to encourage people who have uh, other linguistic backgrounds to be able to share that with them. They do reading in uh, care, elderly care homes. Um, and I know my husband, he's a councillor in Maitland City Council, and he's actually uh, on the, the Friends of Maitland Library Committee and is very strongly into that whole process. Um, we know that in Maitland, where we have higher than above the state average of uh, Aboriginal children, that it's really important that those Aboriginal kids are encouraged uh, in literacy. Uh, only about 25% of Aboriginal kids can read by the age of um, five years, whereas 90% of kids who aren't from Aboriginal homes can read by five years. Indigenous Literacy Day is coming up on the 5th of September and I know our library in Maitland will be working very hard to make sure that that is something that um, they are able to uh, deal with. Maitland, uh, Labor, of course, is very committed to libraries. We see the values of libraries. It's one of the most cost-effective ways to bring people together, to increase knowledge, to uh, expand on our information databases uh, in our brains, uh, in our communities, and that's why Labor have committed $50 million in additional funds to suburban and regional New South Wales public libraries, um, and that is a commitment that I, as a member of the Labor Party, am very, very proud to be a part of. Um, I think we also have to acknowledge, given that their volunteering week is here as well, that uh, our libraries thrive, survive and flourish because of the enormous uh, contribution of so many volunteers in our space. We love our librarians in Maitland, but we also love our friends of the library. They are a very strong and vibrant group and I pay 
much homage to them and to all librarians around the state. Thank you. I'd like to thank the member for Maitland. We're hearing.